Hey Turtle Beach, this is Air Force Proud 95. I'm a flight sim YouTuber since 2008 and a weird Florida man according to several comments. Behind me is my weapons arsenal of the Velocity One Flight and Flight Stick. I'm going to be showing you the setup process, how I customize them, and then maybe giving you a few tips and tricks that I've learned from two years of crashing with them. With that being said, let's get started. Installing the yoke is very easy and efficient. All of the tools that you need for the setup are included in the unit itself. It secures very well even to a glass countertop as you see here. A fully customizable throttle quadrant is also included and snaps right into place. I prefer the blue colorway the best. It's fully customizable with RGB lighting of course. I also found that if you slam dunk the lid it makes for a really good keyboard rest. The yoke has 12 axis controls and 42 customizable buttons with realistic pitch and rotational movements. I I use the yoke system when flying a Boeing or yoke based aircraft in the sim and never an Airbus just to avoid the bad voodoo of that. I'll be going more into my customization real time in the sim momentarily but before I do that I also want to emphasize the importance of having an escape button which is what I use. I configured Alt F4 to one of the throttle quadrant buttons just in the event of one of those really terrible landings that you just want to get away from. I will now take you to the Hong Kong Kai Tak airport where we'll test out my customizations in the 747-800. Here's how I prefer to have my velocity one flight set up. I have parking brake, manual brake, free look is on the left POV switch and quick view is on the right POV switch. I have flaps as the hat two switch and then trim as the hat one switch. This setup is really helpful immediately after takeoff when you're hand flying with the, typically only your left hand. I'll do B1 as the view switch to exterior mode and then B2 will be our landing gear switch. Okay we'll go and proceed with this takeoff. Here we go. Okay, power is set. Another thing I like about the Velocity One Flight is having the rudders accessible on the back of the handles here. I'm not a foot pedals guy, so having the rudders on the yoke is really helpful. We'll rotate. And then we will bring gear up. From this point, I flew a highly illegal traffic pattern back to runway 13 on the checkerboard approach, narrowly avoiding some terrain. For an overall 7.6 out of 10 on the landing, a bit of a planter, and a couple passenger complaints, even though we were a cargo aircraft. We'll switch over to the Velocity 1 flight stick now and test that out in an Airbus aircraft. The Velocity One flight stick is very easy to set up. It's literally just plug it in and use. I prefer the whiteout lights on the color customization, which is option C6 in the settings. It has a stick mounted flight management display with a flight configuration wheel. It can be flown left or right handed with an ambidextrous design, throttle and flap levers, touchpad navigation sensor, eight high precision axes and 27 programmable buttons. Similar to the yoke, it also has a reverse thrust detent feature. I've flown a handful of combat sorties with the flight stick and I only ever use it when flying a side stick based aircraft such as an Airbus. We'll now hop into the Airbus A320neo and test out my customizations at the Madeira Funchal airport. Here's how I have my flight stick set up. The left hat switch H1 I use for flaps so we'll go ahead and set flaps for this departure. The right hat switch H2 I use for a POV. The center scroll wheel I use as a trim tab. Down to the pedestal now I use the the left axis as the speed brake lever and the right axis as the throttle lever and then of course rudder can be controlled by just the joystick itself. I have had issues in the past with autopilot. I have now customized that as the A key for easy on and off access to the autopilot. And then lastly, I use the B16 switch as a toggle between exterior and cockpit view. Okay, now we're fully set up for takeoff. We'll go ahead and begin with our takeoff roll. We'll release parking brake and begin. Here we go. All right, power is set. V1, rotate. And we now have positive rate, we will bring the landing gear up. I then flew a traffic pattern back to runway 5 at Madeira and brought it in for a very floaty landing, 7.2 out of 10 overall. Thankfully, Air Florida cannot sue me for damages though because they are no longer in business. I am more concerned with the health of my wrist after whatever syndrome took over on that landing. Anyways, that'll be it for this video. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Thank you, Turtle Beach, for having me on board. This is Air Force Proud 95, and I will see you next time.